Good morning. Hey, here's a question to start the day with. Are some people untrustworthy murderers? We're reading today from Jeremiah chapter 41, verses 1 to 3, as we carry on through the book of Jeremiah. Now it came to pass in the seventh month that Ishmael, the son of Nethaniah, the son of Elishama, of the royal family and of the officers of the king, came with ten men to Gedaliah, the son of Ahikam, at Mizpah. And there they ate bread together in Mizpah. Then Ishmael, the son of Nethaniah, and the ten men who were with him, arose and struck Gedaliah, the son of Ahikam, the son of Shaphan, with the sword, and killed him whom the king of Babylon had made governor over the land. Ishmael also struck down all the Jews who were with him, that is, with Gedaliah at Mizpah, and the Chaldeans who were found there, the men of war. So here's a whole bunch of slaughter. So remember our background. Babylon came. King Zedekiah had not done what God asked him to do, so he used the Babylonians to punish him. Zedekiah has been taken away. The princes and the rich people and the important people have all been either killed or carried off to Babylon. They were inciting Zedekiah to disobey God, and so that's how that's worked out for them. So now the Babylonians have carried everybody away. They left Gadaliah, and they let him be the governor, and the people have come out of hiding, and they're trying to start over there in the land. And one of the people that came was Ishmael. He presented himself as a peaceful fellow. Johanan had come and warned, this guy's out to kill you. Gedaliah said, no, no, don't pay any attention. You're getting carried away. That's not the plan. I refuse to think this of good, my good friend Ishmael. I refuse to think this. I refuse to think this of my good friend Ishmael. Well, it turns out, well, we just read it. Ishmael was planning to kill him and sorted it all out. Johanan and those guys weren't present there to protect Gedaliah, and so here they are, just killed, just randomly slaughtered. The Jews that were there helping Gedaliah govern the place, they were killed, and the Babylonian guards, some of them that had been left there, they were killed. That's where things stand here. What was going on with Gedaliah that he couldn't receive that warning? Maybe he thought Johanan and his men were looking to be paid as bodyguards and he didn't want to pay out very much. Maybe he was kind of cheap. We don't know. What we do know is that they weren't there to protect him when Ishmael and the others came and slew them. Now, verse 4 tells us that the slaughter was carried out very stealthily. People didn't know about it for a couple of days. But anyway, what about the lesson for us? Well, maybe how about this? There are bad actors in our world. We might want to think that our town is a peaceful town or our part of town is a peaceful town. Nothing bad really happens around here, you know. This is the good part. The world isn't a safe place. Maybe Gedaliah thought that since Nebuchadnezzar had made him governor and he had some Babylonian guards there to guard him, maybe he thought he was safe. Maybe he thought, well, I'm such a nice guy. I'm nice to everybody. I treat everybody with kindness and care and respect. Who, who, would, who would be against me? Maybe he thought that. We're really not told. What we do know is that he was murdered, just murdered in cold blood. And friends, we live on a planet that is not safe, just isn't safe. It's not going to be safe till Jesus comes and everybody gets sorted out. So we do need a Redeemer. We do need Jesus to come and deliver us. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, yes, it's true. Our world isn't safe. We'd like to think it's safe. We'd like to think that nothing bad happens where we live or where we're raising our family. But the fact is that this is a very dangerous world. So Lord, help us to realize you are working your plan. You're coming to a conclusion People are being sorted out, people who want to be selfless and like Jesus, and people who are only really in it for their own crazy little limited short-time agenda. Lord, be our protector and helper. Thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I don't really like this lesson, but I think it's a true one. Some people aren't safe. So let's pray that God will protect us and deliver us and give us wisdom, wisdom enough to be alert and watchful. There's a reason why cities have watchmen. We need to figure out where the watchmen are and pay close attention to the warnings they give. Go out there today and serve the Lord Jesus as one of his watchmen.